The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. If you or anyone you know might be interested in making a television show, please call 260-421-1250. Access Fort Wayne is a department of the Allen County Public Library. From, from my home state, from Indiana, Fort Wayne, Indiana. There he is, the host of the Uncle Ducky show, Uncle Ducky. There he is. gentlemen, from his farmhouse in Allen County, Indiana, the host of the Uncle Ducky Show, the one, the only, Uncle Ducky. Yay! 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 Please be seated. Th thank you so very much, but please be seated. Please be seated. Which... Begs the question, why is he looking out the window in the audience? Okay, just stay. Welcome to the award-winning Uncle Ducky Show. Hi, I'm the host, Uncle Ducky. We have a special show for you tonight. It's President's Day, uh, the February the 17th, 2020. And uh, I, you know that word of the month. Hey, um, Socko, what is that word of the month we have this month? Apparitionist. Apparitionist. Yeah, and it's a kind of a spooky-sounding word. Yeah, so I don't know what that word means, and we're going to find out what that word means later on in the show. <laughs> Hear that? That sounds like a clock. Yes. And look. Me, oh, yes. And you need to get the clock set. Yes. Get so the right time. this award winning show is so the small hands for the hour. And the, there you go. Okay, nine o'clock. Check your local listings on cable access television for when the show is on. <coughs> oh, Mrs. McHenry, good morning, good evening. Hey, Uncle Ducky, how yes. you doing? Yes, Mrs. McHenry, yes. Yeah, I'm doing great, how about you? Good, good. Hey, uh, hey, hey, is there a, uh, hey, it, it seems like there's a cow out here. Oh, oh, Excuse oh. me. <laughs> Uncle Ducky show going Hey Ducky, what's here. up? It's, it's vicious. Yes. Hello. Can you hear me? Oh, it's vicious venom, boys and girls. Vicious venom. Hi, uh, how's everybody doing? I, I'm, Good, I'm, vicious. I'm finally back from Japan again. Yes. Uh, today, can I bring uh, Jerry Armstrong on? We're coming from La LaGrange County. I got incident. The insecurity guard with me too. My buddy. What did you just say? Jerry Armstrong. Hi, Jerry. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Jerry. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. Um, it's not is... time for the magic thing yet. It's in the sixth segment. But we'll see him later, Jerry Armstrong. Yeah, Thank you come on, Jerry. Time. Come on. <laughs> come bring the police car with you, will you, Vicious? And uh, Colin drives. He's got his permit, right? I think so. Mr. Caulfield! Yay, Mr. Caulfield! <laughs> Sorry, I slipped a bit far. You slipped? Let me get there you, back up. There you go. Oh, thank you so very much for my hat. Well, Sharon, I'm always willing to do nice things for you, Ducky, because you're just such a wonderful person. But remember that Bessie the Cow is out there outside the window, and she has some things to say to you during this award-winning TV production. Oh, see, oh. Bessie? Yeah, I thought I heard moving out here. Yeah, oh, good. Okay. Right, right. <laughs> okay, good. Hey. Uncle Ducky Show, go ahead. You're on the air. 
Lauren? <laughs> <laughs> pardon me. You met. Pardon me. This is Branch, Uncle Ducky. Oh, How are you? <laughs> my Branch. It's we, Branch, boys and girls. Let's give him a nice yay, round of applause. We skipped a beat or two, Uncle Ducky, but here yes. I am, and nonetheless. Yes. Hey, I'm watching the show, needless to say, <laughs> and I'm wondering if you could take a look at your TV monitor. Okay. Do you recognize the person in the picture? Actually, I don't. It looks like uh, looks like an actor, maybe, or a politician. Well, maybe a party that assassinated President Lincoln. Is that John Wilkes Booth? It is indeed. Oh my goodness! You know what's interesting about us shooting the show here is that just a couple of stories above us is a statuette by Richard Maslowski, and it was donated to the Amer uh, Allen County Public Library by Ian and Mimi Rowland. It's titled, Moody, Tearful Night. And that phrase comes from Walt Whitman's poem, When Lilacs Last in the Dooryard Bloomed, which was his elegy about the assassination of President Lincoln. Oh, now yeah. this this statue shows the mortally wounded president, yes, being carried by a doctor okay. and four four soldiers from Ford's Theater to the William Peterson House across Tenth Street, where Lincoln would then die at 7:22 a.m. the next day, April 15, 1865. The statue was purchased by Ian and Mimi Rowland, donated to the library with the expectation that generations of library patrons would be able to view this exceptional work of art. Well, and just just look at the angst on the faces of those soldiers. Yeah, it's very good. Well, thank you for calling yeah, in and telling it. us that. Well, also and, from and, the and library. By, by the way, an interesting book to read about the events leading up to this momentous event is entitled Abraham Lincoln and John Wilkes Booth. And I happen to see it there in your hands. It's a book that details the life of both men leading up to Lincoln's assassination. You can find it in the teen section of the Allen County Public Library. Ooh. Thank you. Very good. That's right, in the teen section. Okay, thank you very much for calling in. We'll talk to you later, Branch. Bye. Always a pleasure. All right. Thank you very much. Well, wasn't that interesting? Yeah. Because it's President's Day. And actually, I think uh, the farmhand has a few books. A few more. Oh, I see. Yes, there's that book. Here's a book. This is a book about the people who worked at the theater. There were a lot of people who... They suspected everybody was actually a suspect, 40 employees at the Ford Theater, so uh, a lot of interrogating, interrogating for that. And in the, thank you, uh, farm, farmhand, how are you doing tonight? Good, thumbs up, see that? Thumbs up, okay. And if you go to the uh, children's section, President Lincoln, that's a nice book. Yeah, and that also, looks pretty nice. And what's that, uh, Jody? That, that looks pretty nice. Mrs. McHenry, that looks oh. pretty nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Lincoln Comes Home. Yeah. There you go. There's a book. And uh, Uncle Ducky for a Living? He. Yes. Oh. For a Living? Yes. Did you know, Festus, that I dro drove a choo choo train for 50 years? And part of my route to Cincinnati was one mile in Richmond, Indiana was on the route of Lincoln's Funeral Train. A little trivia for you. Wayne County, Indiana, yes. No relation. What's hey, that? No now. relation. No. So. Lincoln had a beard just like this. Yeah, he did. Oh, God. He shaved the same way. Right. It's a tradition among certain groups. Oh, I see. Yes. Somebody's ringing the doorbell. Let them hey, in. Hey, Uncle Ducky, somebody's at the door. Let's see. Okay. Them. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Conley. Woo! Woo! Are you going to play a song? Well, fine. Yes. It's a yes. great show so yes. far. Yes, I just went to the KISS concert. Okay. They blew, yes, they blew up everything. Oh, they blew up goodness. everything. So I'm going to do a KISS song. You 
show us everything you got Keep on dancing and the room gets hot You drive us wild, we'll drive you crazy You say you wanna go for a spin The party's just begun, we'll let you in You drive us wild, we'll drive you crazy and you keep on shouting, you keep on shouting, I, I want to rock and roll all night. Party every day, I want to rock and roll all night. Party every You say you'll be mine for a while You're looking fancy and I like your style You drive us wild, we'll drive you crazy You show us everything you got Baby, baby, that's quite a lot You drive us wild, we'll drive you crazy And you keep on shouting Shouting, I, I want to rock and roll all night. Party every day, I want to rock and roll all night. Party every I want to rock and roll all night. Party every day. So, do you mind if I stick around and listen to, you know, Kristen Kell a little bit? Yeah. I think they're here, aren't they? Right. And so I'm going to bring out Tristan Andorfer. Ladies and gentlemen, Tristan Andorfer and Kell. Hey, guys. What's Hi. up? <laughs> How you doing? Good, Tristan. This Good. is Mike Conley. He's a musician. Hi, Mike. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> nice guitar. Thank you very much. Mm. I sweated on it a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so I heard today was President's Day, and we're celebrating Abe Lincoln. Is that right? Yes. Ooh, yes, Abe we are. Lincoln. All righty, so why don't we go ahead and tell some jokes? Sure. Hey, hey Tristan, if Abe Lincoln were alive today, what would he be famous for? I don't know, Cal, what would he be famous for? Probably old age. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, huh? Yeah. All right, Nick. Hey, uh, Tristan, I got a question for you. What's that, Kel? Wasn't there a, a movie out about Lincoln slaying vampires? Uh, yeah, Kel, I heard, I heard about that, and I also seen the trailers for it, too. Uh, but I was wondering, what would, um, um, what would Lincoln say about that, like, if he saw that movie? He'd probably say, what's a movie? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. The thing is, we only got two jokes about this, so that's all we that's got. All. Yeah. Unless, um, is there one other thing you want, you want to do? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, one thing, one thing, uh, I'd like to, uh, point out, point out that Tristan, our good friend Tristan, has been with the show now. He's coming up on his sixth year. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Sixth season. Thank you so much. Ooh. In TV yeah. land, we call a season his sixth year. A season? And he's, yeah. He has been loyal and, 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 and dependable. <laughs> and I've turned 20 years old. And he's a hard worker. Yeah, yep. yeah. Yep. And also, I might note also, Tristan is an honor student at Homestead High School where his mother is a school teacher. Thank Yay. you for being on our show. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Chris. Happy President's Day. Happy President's Day to you guys. Thank you so much. Sounds like the door. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Jody, yes. Yay! It's Jody Extreme. <laughs> right. I know. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, hey, do you do you like uh? <laughs> hey, have you ever heard of the uh, Fort Wayne Funk Orchestra? 
Yes, I mm. love that orchestra, that brass sound. Yes, yes. Hey, you know what? You know who else loves them? Norm, and I think he's got a clip of myself and Aaron King. He's their leader, yes. and we were at Zombie Fest 18. Do you think Norman show it sometime? Yes, he can show it. And remember, the wind was gusting at how much? Like 60 miles an, an hour. hour. Right. <laughs> Go ahead and show Kids, it. This is Johnny Scream, and this is. Hey, it's Aaron King with the Four Way Funk Orchestra. Yeah, you were great. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys coming out. Hey, have you ever performed in Sun, Slow, Blue Skies, and Torrential Winds? This is my second time. Yeah! All right, Friday night, 2018. Everybody have a safe Halloween. Yeah. Woo. Yes, wasn't that something? Also, I understand that Aaron King is a school teacher, teaches music. Hey, maybe he can have one of his students come on or we can tape them for the Uncle Ducky show. Um, yeah, that'd be great. Yes, wouldn't that be great, that'd Mrs. Be great. McHenry? Yes. Hey, Uncle Ducky, I see that cow again. Yes. Do you want me to come back there? I'll go out the door oh, and okay. talk to the cow. Oh, okay. Talk to the cow. Speaking of pres speaking of President's Day, in the in also in the Lincoln collection on on this on the second floor yes <laughs> of the Allen Ca of the Allen County Public Library yes is a painting of Mary Todd Lincoln with a ghost of Lincoln behind her. Still, Mary Todd Lincoln. Still, Mary Todd Lincoln. Okay, see Bessie? That's pretty. <laughs> hey, Uncle Ducky, that that's pretty awesome right there. That was awesome. Of. What's that? Hey, that cow's pretty awesome. Yes, yeah. that's right. An utter example of apparitionist photography. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Now, oh, excuse me. Uncle Ducky show, go ahead, you're on the air. Uncle Ducky, it's Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Yay! Snowman, boys and girls. Now, I was going to let you know that this is called a spirit photography. And there's a book in the library that you can get that talks all about it called The Apparition Apparitionists. I see. What does that mean? <laughs> Ups oh, it was upside down. There it is. Do you know what an apparitionist is? Uh, no. I, well, why don't you call Lady Catherine, and she can tell you the definition and describe what the book is all about. Okay, I'll do that. Um, now watch how I do this. Siri, would you? Yes. Yeah, hi, Siri, how are you tonight? This is Siri. You're oh. fine. <laughs> Siri, would you call Knoxville, Tennessee, and retired li uh, librarian, Lady Catherine, we'll find out what that word aberrationist, Absolutely. aberrationist means. Happy to be of service. Thank you, Siri. This is Siri, boys and girls. Only on the Ducky Show is Siri. Uh, hey, she kind of looks like a soup can. What's that? Ms. She kind of looks like a soup can. I mean, like, I'm not one to judge. I mean, like, I, I kind of look kind of flat over here, but. Uh, right, right. Oh, jeez. Lady Catherine. Lady Catherine, yes. stand by for Uncle Ducky. All right. Are you there? I'm here. Lady Hello. Catherine, how are you? Hello. Hello, Uncle Ducky. Yes. I, um, I understand you know the definition of this word, apparitionist. Yes, an apparitionist is someone who studies spirits or hosts. And if you want to read about it, and I heard someone talk about the book, The Aberrationist by Peter Van So. Yes. And it will tell you about that picture by William Wurbler of Mary Todd Lincoln with the ghost of Lincoln behind her. Yes. Ooh. So that, what was that? <laughs> I hear dogs in the background, Lady uh, Catherine. I keep them quiet. <laughs> so this was basically a fraud this whole thing and this is the beginnings of photography 
and people took advantage of people who, like Mary Todd Lincoln, who was a spiritualist, and she believed that. But uh, okay, well now I know what the word abolitionist means. Thank you for calling. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Well, we learned what that word means, didn't we? Very good. Hey, Uncle Ducky. Yes. Hey. Okay. So, hey, um, uh, are you a little confused? Yes. Yeah, me too. Of sorts. Yes. I think I hear police sirens out here, but I'm not for sure. Ah, oh, there they are. They're so close. <laughs> hey, there's a police car coming. Oh! And it's Colin, the policeman. Hey! A vicious venom. I don't think you're ready for this, this vicious. <laughs> Come on, Gary. Come on, Gary. Oh, see, we're all confused. Ladies and Gary gentlemen. Gary Armstrong. Gary Yay. Armstrong. Thank you. Thank Get in there, Colin. Yeah, oh, only, yes. Only one of them. Um, well, I had, to, like I had to, to come back yeah, and tell you something. Oh, yeah. oh, wait a second. Oh. Yes, yes. You know why you should always sit at a table in a restaurant? No, why should I always sit at a table in a restaurant, Mr. Because Popkin? a booth killed Abraham Lincoln. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Caulfield. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Mr. Ducky, I'd like to dedicate this particular illusion to our Vice President, Michael Pence, because I actually did this illusion for Michael Pence when he was here in Fort Wayne. Oh, nice. Right, and so here's what the illusion is. Uh, what does this remind you of? Red, white, and blue. Mind you, the American flag, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in here. Okay. And I'm gonna say the magic words today, which is Michael Pence, okay? Oh. <laughs> okay, that's the magic okay. words. It works. And, um, and out of that came the American flag. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, Look my God. Yeah, goodness. that's awesome. Yeah. Yay. Thank you. thank you very much, Mr. Thank Duffy. you. Thank you for being on the show. Mm -hmm. Colin, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. And Vicious, thank Ready you for you setting that up. Yeah. Thank you very <laughs> much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Wasn't that a nice uh, little magic trick in line with President's Day? That was so nice. Uh, hey, I think I see somebody else out here. Oh, who's that? Who's... Yay. Hey, it's me. Hi. Oh, again. <laughs> hey, I know I was supposed to bring out Gus Rodriguez, yes. but I got somebody else back here. Oh, who's that? I know. Come on out. Oh, bonsoir, oh. Monsieur Canard. Thank you. Je suis la boulanger. Yes. Uh, je m'appelle Robert. Yes. Robert. Yes. Is it true that you are honoring American presidents with a special President's Day show? Yes, we are. That is very exciting. February the 17th, President. Yes. yes. And is it also true that you are focusing on American President Abraham Lincoln? Yes, tonight we are. Yes. Very good, very good. And is it also true that you have a, a, a word of the month or an expression that everybody is to become familiar with? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes? Uh, is that true? All right. Okay. Do you know the origin of the expression, your name is mud? Your name is mud. No. You do not. No. Do you know the, no, do you know the origin? I'm prepared because you sent me some notes. Yes. I have a few notes here tonight. <laughs> After Lincoln's attacker, yes. who was? John, John Wilkes Booth. Booth. Yes. Jumped from the balcony yes. to the stage and broke his leg. But he managed to escape anyway. And he went to Dr. Samuel Mudd for assistance. Oh. And after the conspirators were all wound up, were all they were all wound up, oh. were all rounded up. Yes. They tracked down Dr. Mudd and believed he was in on it. He was arrested, yes. he was tried, yes. and he was sentenced to prison yes. at Je Fort Jefferson in the Tortugas at, not West Point, Key West. Yes. Key West. Now, is it not true that you go down to Key West? We got a connection here. You go to Key West to see Skippy the Fisherman? Skippy the Fisherman, yes. All Todd right. Allen does, yes, yes. Exit Gobert. Here you go. Yay! Thank you very much. Yay! Yes, and on our next show, we are going to have uh, Bob Jones from 
historic Fort Wayne, and we're going to talk about 1716 Fort Wayne. Now we're going to show a PSA, pause to read, from the Aboit uh, branch, uh, Allen County Public Library. Hello, my name is Beth Nygaard. I'm a librarian at the Aboit branch of the Allen County Public Library, and we are a location that hosts Pause to Read. Pause to Read is um, one of our happy programs that uh, we host with um, a trained therapy dog and their trained handler. Children come in to read aloud to these uh, pets who are non-judgmental readers. Children who participate in Pause to Read are um, becoming more fluent in their reading and improving their literacy skills. For early reading, for rather, for early uh, readers, the act of sounding out words and hearing words is important. It helps that reading is a positive and joyful experience in the Pause to Read program. And that's all the time we have. Thank you very much. Thank and we'll so see much. you next time on the Uncle Ducky Show. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> Good night now. So long. Oh. So long, everybody. <laughs> Good night. Good night, kids. Hey kids, how would you like to join the most popular fan club in the world? Be the first in your school to be a member of the Uncle Ducky Fan Club. All you need to do is write The Uncle Ducky Show, Care of Access Fort Wayne, 900 Library Plaza, Fort Wayne, Indiana, 46802. You will receive in the mail a personally autographed photo suitable for framing, an Uncle Ducky Fan Club card, and $1,000 in play money. While supplies last, suitable frame not included. Production facilities provided by Access Fort Wayne. Learn more under the Explore tab at acpl.info.